All right, Gloomhaven fans, have you ever wanted to play Gloomhaven in an airplane? Or maybe on the back of a horse? Or maybe while you're riding your motorbike? Or maybe while you're sitting up in a tree branch? <laughs> I was joking around here. This is a portable Gloomhaven-ish game. It's not exactly like Gloomhaven. We'll go through all that here in a little bit. But basically, it's a pocket version of Gloomhaven. You hold it all in your hands. Uh, there's no board, there's no tokens, there's no minis, there's no nothing. It's just you holding cards in your hand. And there's some really cool mechanics in here. I do see some things that are a little bit concerning though. Uh, not taking shots at the game or anything. One, I think it definitely is going to need some balancing work and some mechanics work. It looks a little too fiddly in some ways for me, but we'll get to that. I'll, I'll talk through why I think that. But essentially, yeah, you've got this pocket version of Gloomhaven-ish because there are like quite a few different rules. I just happened to come across this randomly. Just thought I would bring you a quick intro video. This isn't gonna be a how to play or anything like that. The creator has a how to play. I'll make sure and link all the relevant stuff down in the description so you can go ahead and get to it easily. But the first thing I wanted to talk about was just basically how it works. So here we've got a map. You actually hold the map in your hand and you see these little arrows here, one, two, and three. Where you hold them shows your position on the map. And there's a bunch of different things that are different from Gloomhaven and how you move. There's, you know, no combat rounds and non-combat rounds, which is, you know, different, different from Gloomhaven. There's a bunch of stuff that, you know, has changed essentially so that you can have it in your hand only. I mean, it's not easy. This is actually your hand of abilities. So right here, the abilities are sideways. And then down here, we've got a bunch of different stuff. There's hit points and there's, here's mod attack modifiers and there's different monster behaviors. Like you actually have, um, Let's just go ahead. So here we've got C, B, and A. This is the initiative up top. And then they've got their move and they've got their attack and range and stuff like that down here. And essentially you do different kind of, uh, you roll by slapping a card down. It's kind of hard to explain, but if, you, if you're interested in this, just go watch the video. But basically they can have different attack patterns and initiative based upon which track they're using at that time, which is randomly determined. So pretty interesting. All the monster information is on here. A lot of a lot of things are retained. Here you can see this is for a regular, this is for an elite. So there is regulars and elites. There are a bunch of different abilities, just like, you know, there's still immobilize and wound and all this kind of stuff, right? All the regular poison. Uh, immobilize whatever all the status effects are still there which is which is really neat it also does have its own campaign um here i won't go into it because i don't want to spoil it but there's a pretty good size campaign here this is a campaign specifically for gloom holden i thought that was really cool here's all the ability cards and this is, yeah we'll talk about that later but this is you know I think the only ability card set at this point. And then it's got like a full rule book. It is quite a bit of rules. <laughs> uh, but for all of us committed Gloomhaven players out there, it's, you know, it it looks fun. I mean, it, it does look fun and it's something that you're gonna play it in situations where you couldn't play Gloomhaven only. So it's not gonna compete for the same time slot, right? You're not gonna call all your buddies together to sit around a table and play Gloomholden. You're gonna play it when you're, you know, going on a trip or, or something like that, or when you're sitting around just on the couch and you don't wanna watch TV. So there's gonna be situations, it's gonna be different situations that you're playing the game, so it's not actually gonna compete. Also, I do want to make sure this is clear. This does not violate copyright. And it's a valid question that people ask, but I just, I, it's a question that gets asked a lot. This does not violate copy, copyright. He, as far as I can tell, he's already, you know, confirmed this with Isaac and got approval and he's not making any money. You can make as much fan made custom content for Gloomhaven that you want. And it can be a super high level of content, like something like this, as long as you don't make money from it. That's the key point. You start trying to make money, you're gonna be in trouble. 
you don't, you're in the clear. So hopefully that solves any copyright issues for anyone. All right, before we get to the things that I think are maybe a little bit concerning or are going to need some work, if you could, if you're liking the video, go ahead and hit the like button. It helps share this video with other people who are looking for cool Gloomhaven content. And also, if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications. It's a little bell. It really helps me out a lot as well. And also, I work with Noble Knight Games. They're a huge games warehouse. Uh, they have over 5,000 games. They have the largest selection of games in the world. They have role-playing games like Dungeons and Dragons. They have card games. They have board games. They have miniatures. They have anything, you know, that you're looking for. I have a link down in the description. If you click on that link and you go buy something, I make a small commission. I'm a small channel. I need your support. Okay, so let's talk about what's bad. First, you may get the worst hand cramp in the world if you're not a professional sleight of hand magician. <laughs> And I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm clumsy, but I'm not dexterous either. I, I mean, my thumbs are. I'm good at playing video games. I've played so many video games, but I just think that holding your hand and like here in the video, if you see this guy has his hand in some pretty serious positions and it's kind of hard to tell in the still, but you can see as he's trying to change things around and slide cards in and out and keep everything organized. And you can see here, we've got a tilt on the cards here to show that they've been used. Yeah, it's going to be tough to hold your hand like that if you're not, you know, Shin Lim. Uh, <laughs> if anyone who doesn't know who Shin Lim is, go Google him. He's an amazing sleight of hand magician. Anyways, if he's not... If you're not Shin Lim, you may end up cramping. Next thing that I'm a little concerned about, uh, just replayability at this point. I, one of the things that I love about Gloomhaven is just unlocking the classes, right? And right now there's only one set of ability cards. I don't know where the creator's at. And Joe, if you're watching this video, go ahead, shoot me a line, contact me, let me know if I've got anything wrong or, you know, with any updates. I think this could become something that's pretty big, big in the Gloomhaven world. I know I'm intrigued and I think a lot of people will be as well. So go ahead, you know, shoot me a line if you're watching this. Anyways, limited amount of ability cards and so it may get a little tiring using, you know, these abilities. The next is, it's pretty early right now. So if you're a person who prefers something to be a little bit more polished, this may not be something you're interested in at this point. Um, it looks to me like there needs to be a decent amount of polish. I think there's some mechanics that are maybe maybe a little bit too fiddly and the game needs to be streamlined a little bit. I haven't played it enough to know. I mean, I haven't played it at all. I've just essentially looked at it, but you know, I've put out 80 videos on Gloomhaven. I understand board games to a pretty high level and some things seem like they're maybe just a little bit unnecessary. Anyways, we'll see if that plays out, but at this point, I would say that it's probably in a fairly unpolished state. So just, you know, bear that in mind if you're trying to figure out like, should I go and print this and do a print and play and, and try and, you know, figure it out. All that being said, I am definitely gonna be trying this out I, if Joe doesn't reach out to me, I'll probably reach out to him. I'm going on holidays after this video, so probably like a weekish plus down the road. Probably, pro probably a week from when you see this video, um, I'll be reaching out if Joe doesn't reach out to me just to try and get some clarification once I've played more, right? I'm going to print it out. I'm going to play it. When I play it, I'll have more insight into it. But let me know your thoughts. Does this look interesting to you? Have you tried it? You know, let me know if you have done anything with the Gloom Holden game, make sure and comment. And thank you so much for watching. And especially to my subscribers, I just, I appreciate it so much. I appreciate that you took the time to subscribe to me and that you watch my videos and you comment and you interact. And so thank you.